Hello, kid, and welcome to your kid time story time. Yeah, where we have some very deep words to share with you. Oh, okay, Green Bear and Doug the Dinosaur. Share away. <clears throat> some things stay greed forever, and some things change. <laughs> I thought that worked out pretty well. Yeah, it kind of sounded mysterious. Did you like it? I loved it. Yes, score. You guys are naturals at introducing the kid time story times. So why do leaves change color? We're about to scientifically find out. And away we go. First of all, look at how beautiful these pictures are. Look at the leaves. It's autumn and leaves are turning red and yellow, gold and brown. Each type of tree has its own kinds of leaves and the colors of autumn leaves differ from tree to tree. You've seen that yourself, haven't you? Some oak leaves may be brown or yellow, while maple leaves may turn bright red. My favorite ones are the red and oranges. Leaves come in different sizes and shapes as well as colors, and some leaves are wide, others are narrow, some have points, while others may be rounded. Now, how many kind of leaves can you find here? There's lots of them. This one's a, a sugar maple. Look how pretty with the tips like that. This is a red maple, slightly different, a tulip a silver maple, a white oak, which is not white at all, sassafras, which may be my favorite name for a leaf ever, Norway maple, gray birch, red oak. Ooh, I like that red oak, it's very dramatic. Just a few weeks ago, all the leaves were green. Back in the spring, the tiny new leaves uncurled from their buds. The green color in the leaves helps them to absorb or hold sunlight. Chlorophyll gives the leaves their green coloring. Chlorophyll is a natural coloring called a pigment. You know, we have pigment too in our skin. Of course, ours is not chlorophyll or we'd be green. Like, well, you know, those guys. Hey, like me? Yeah, like you, Doug. See, here's, there's a good, good illustration here. There's chlorophyll and there's an air hole and then there's a space for the air to be in and the upper surface and there's a vein. Leaves actually have veins. Leaves are very important to the tree, but you probably knew that. They make a kind of sugar that is the tree's food. Now, I bet you didn't know that. Leaves need sunlight, water, and air to make this food. The leaves work to actually feed the tree all summer long. The sugar is used by all parts of the tree, the leaves, the branches, the trunk, the roots. The food, or this sugar, helps the tree to grow. Extra sugar is stored in the leaves. Now in the fall, many things are changing. In many places, there is a change in the weather. There are changes in the light, the temperature, even the color of the sky. Inside the leaves, there's gonna be changes happening too. And all of these changes bring about those beautiful fall colors. Now in the fall, as you probably have noticed, but if you haven't, you're gonna now, there are fewer hours of sunlight every day. Now the change in the light tells the tree, hey, time to get ready for winter. A winter is a time of rest for the tree. So when the winter comes, the tree will have to survive with less water and sunlight. So it's sort of a, an alert, like get ready, get ready, winter is coming. The tree begins to get ready for its winter rest. It needs very little food now and the leaves stop their work. The life of the leaves is almost at an end. The tree no longer needs them. When the leaves die, they will fall from the tree. This will happen slowly over a number of weeks. You know, it doesn't happen just all at once. As the leaves begin to separate from the tree, they get less water. Without the water, the leaves can't make new chlorophyll. The old chlorophyll begins to fade, and that's, remember, what does the chlorophyll do? It's the pigment that makes the leaves green. So without water to make chlorophyll, you can't be green anymore. The green color starts to disappear. Now, you start to see other colors in the leaves. Other pigments have been in the leaves all along. That's the crazy part. Those other colors were there the whole time, but they were hidden by the dark green of the chlorophyll, the green pigment. Now, once the green color fades, now suddenly you see the yellow and orange pigments that were there the whole time. That's just mind blowing to me. These pigments give colors to the leaves of birches, poplars, and elms. Some foods like bananas and carrots can't get their natural yellow and orange coloring from the same pigments. They also give color to some flowers. Hmm? 
Maybe you can think of some. On here they show us some more leaves. This is the elm. This is the gray birch. This is the white birch. This is the aspen. Aspens are quite beautiful. Autumn leaves have other colors as well. The yellow and oranges have been in the leaves all along. Other pigments are made as the leaves begin to die. Now these new pigments are made from the extra sugar stored in the leaves. The sunlight causes the stored sugar to change to pigment. What? So the sunlight makes the stored sugar change into color? The new pigments make some leaves turn red, rust, or purple. Ooh, purple, that's nice. The more sugar there is, the brighter the colors will be. Bright days and cool nights seem to bring out the best fall colors. Look at this one. Look at this sugar maple. Isn't that gorgeous? And this red maple, it's even redder. And here's a white oak, which is not white, but green and brown. There's a little elm leaf, a gray birch, a red oak. Isn't it amazing to see that change happen? Maple leaves get their red color from these brand new pigments. Many flowers and foods like beets and radishes, neither of which I personally eat, get their color from these red pigments. The brilliant red of sumac leaves shows up only in the fall when the pigments form. So red is really, red is, is an autumnal color. That's its time to shine. Some trees like oaks make tannin in the fall. Tannin is not a pigment but it does color the leaves. Hmm, interesting. Some oak leaves turn a rich brown color in autumn. See if you can find some. You might still be able to find some green coloring too. And let's see what leaves they have here for us. A red oak, a sumac, a red maple, a white oak. Oh, they're just changing and they're getting deeper and deeper, these colors. The changing color of autumn leaves is caused by changes in weather and light. This is why the colors are not the same every year. Oh, is that why? Because every season is a little bit different. The best leaf colors usually come with lots of bright sunshine and crisp, clear nights. I guess that's the perfect recipe. Too much rain may make the colors dull. An early frost may kill the leaves too soon. Oh, look at that. It suddenly got dark in here, didn't it? Can you still see okay? Evergreen trees like pines and spruces keep their leaves all year, but in cool climates, other trees must lose their leaves to survive in the winter. So losing the leaves is a matter of survival for the trees. After the leaves have changed color, they are ready to separate from the tree. When they're just barely hanging on, a little bit of wind or rain will make them fall to the ground. In just a short time, the tree will begin to look bare that's what in some places they call stick season, when all you see are sticks on the trees instead of beautiful leaves after the fall. Piles of dead leaves collect under the tree. Some will blow away, others will be raked up by, like, by these kids, for example. Uh, the leaves that are left will begin to rot. Now over time, this is actually a good thing, they will become part of the soil. And rotting leaves, the rotting leaves enrich the soil with minerals that the tree needs to stay healthy. So it's a circle of life, you see? So it's feeding the very same tree that it fell off of so that the next generation of leaves may sprout again when the spring comes. When the last of the leaves have fallen, the tree is ready for winter. Ah, oh, winter. During the cold weather, the tree will be dormant or resting. New leaf buds have already formed and next spring they will open and begin to make food for the tree. But right now in the fall, it's time to enjoy the colors of the leaves. Beautiful autumn foliage cannot actually be seen just anywhere. Only some places, for example, New England in the US of A, have displays of many colors. And that's because the weather conditions there are usually just right. And there are so many different kinds of trees. I, for example, who grew up in the South, I never saw the leaves really change colors. They were always green and they still are. Fall is a time to have fun with leaves. It's time to take in the sights and sounds of the leaves. It's time for jumping into great piles of leaves. And then sometimes it's time for raking them up. Fall is a time to get ready for winter. Hey, the trees are ready. Are you? And then it gives us some ideas of how to make a leaf rubbing and then pressing leaves. Oh, this is interesting. You see, you put an old cloth or towel on an ironing board or table. You know what? If you want to press some leaves, you can look at another video on YouTube and that will tell you how to do it. Um, but I think that was fascinating of how do leaves change colors. I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was beautiful, although it made me a little bit sad when the 
tree leaves were separating from the trees. Uh, you know, but it's just a circle of life. It's fine. They'll be fine. They'll be raked up. Kids will be having fun with the leaves. And then, and then they'll give nutrition to the tree for next year. And it's just part of the circle of life. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. I'm really into musicals now. It's my new thing. And I like to work musical references into things. It's probably just a short phase. Uh, I kind of like it. Well, kid, I hope that you learned something like really deep and sciency and autumnal today. Yeah, yeah, I, I learned a lot, and I'm actually really looking forward to seeing the leaves change this year, now that I know how it works. Yeah, yeah. Because then I can really pay attention and see how the colors change, and maybe, if I really study really hard, maybe I'll be able to actually identify some leaves all by myself without the storyteller having to show me. That would be super cool. Maybe, like, you can have a life of, of botany, or maybe you could be a forest ranger who would know these kinds of things. Oh, the possibilities are endless! Oh yeah, they really are. All right, kid, have a wonderful autumn from Kid Time Story Time.